Good morning, everyone. This is Rachel Dietz of St. John Lutheran Church in Moton, Pennsylvania, outside of Reading, and welcome to my kitchen table. This morning, something that usually resides in our kitchen uh, made its way to the table, and it looks like this. Any idea what it might be? Um, comment on your alternative uh, descriptions of what this could be. Uh, it is uh, called a boomer by the person who made it. And no, it's not a derisive or derogatory term uh, for someone of a certain generation, uh, but it's used uh, to help uh, amplify the sound of your cell phone. So what happens is uh, you put your cell phone um, in whatever configuration makes sense for you. For us, it's this way. And uh, you play your streaming service or whatever music you have on your phone, uh, and it amplifies the sound. We use it in our kitchen at dinner time when we're making dinner, or more accurately, honestly, when Travis makes dinner, because uh, he does all the cooking in our house. And it made me think of the Magnificat in Luke chapter 1 when the angel Gabriel comes to Mary and says, uh, guess what? Uh, you're going to be a mom. And Mary responds, uh, my soul magnifies the Lord. And then there are other places in scripture where we're uh, taught to lift up our voices and to shout out loud and that even the stones cry out. So our scripture today is actually the Magnificat itself, uh, again from Luke uh, chapter 1, verses 46 to 55. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor upon his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, a promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. God's peace be with you today, and we will see you soon. Take care.